What's up guys, Rui here and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who have to rely on eyewear due to poor eyesight like myself, having a good pair of glasses is very crucial in my opinion, as it's basically an accessory that we probably will be using most of the time. And to most extent, it is part of our identity. And for the last five years, I have actually been wearing the same pair of glasses. They are from a brand called NYBK. Initially, I actually bought a new pair from them with my own money, but after some back and forth emails with the team, I'm very thankful to say that they have graciously sent me a pair. Being that we are kind of in the back to school season and having a fresh new look for a new semester is always a good feeling, what better way to do it than having a new pair of glasses. But before we continue further into today's video, it would be very, very much appreciated if you go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below if you are new to the channel or just haven't been subscribed yet, as it really does mean the world to me. Also, if you guys are feeling generous and want to help support the channel in a much bigger way, I do have a Patreon page whereby at its lowest tier, it is only $8 a month. And all of it will go into helping me to pick up new filming equipment so that I can continue to improve the qualities of the videos for you all, as well as helping to keep you lights on this channel. I first came to know about this brand all the way back in 2017 when I was still studying in South Korea. And I remember being introduced to this brand thanks to a collaboration between NYBK and a YouTuber that I watch frequently by the name of Edward Avila. From there, I started to grow interest in the brand as I like how they focus on designs that are just simple and minimal with the intention of creating frames that are meant to fit in seamlessly with their lifestyle while being very high quality at an affordable price point. Founded in New York back in 2013, the brand actually grew in popularity over in South Korea thanks to its strong partnership with a very well-known fashion concept store called A-Land. For those that aren't familiar with it, it's a very popular concept store that are located in famous shopping areas such as Myeongdong, Hongdae, Coex, and many more which carries a lot of local brands. So if you ever are in South Korea and you do like more of the Korean style of fashion, I highly recommend you guys to check that store out. I believe this is one of the many reasons as to why the brand became so popular over there as their frames are rather accessible thanks to the partnership with Alan, but also their design focuses more on the larger frame sizes, which is a very popular look within the general Korean style. In addition to that, there are various Korean celebrities that were spotted wearing glasses from NYBK. And just to name a few, you have Mino from the Idol Group winner, actor Park Seo Joon from the very famous ATM one class on Netflix, and popular MC slash TV personality Chang Sung Kyo, who is actually a loyal NYBK wearer, as he was spotted wearing multiple frames from the brand. However, due to the pandemic, the brand relocated to California and became a 100% online store that still do offer shipping to many parts of the world. My first pair that I picked up is the Arte Utica M7, which I believe is no longer in production. This is the same pair that I've been wearing since 2017 till now. It's definitely been through quite a bit and it's way overdue for a new pair. One of my favorite parts is actually the unboxing experience. To start things off, everything was very well packaged with no signs of dent or damaged parts. You really could feel the attention to details and care being put in ensuring that the unboxing experience will be a pleasant one. Opening up, you are greeted with a bunch of goodies. Starting off, they included this simple faux leather case. It's a very minimal protective case for your glasses and it comes with every frame purchase. Inside, it's lined with soft velour fabric to ensure your glasses will be scratch free. Up next is a packet consisting of a couple of reading materials but most importantly, they included a small screwdriver and also a set of replacement ear pads for future upkeep and maintenance. I absolutely love it when brands go the extra small step to ensure that the user can prolong the lifespan of the products easier. Lastly, the eyeglasses are kept securely inside this cardboard box here. It's a simple drawer style storage box that is lined with foam protection to keep the glasses safe. Checking the glasses up close, the model that I chose is the G Glance Falls B7. Compared to my older pair, this has a slightly more squarish design. However, I chose this really because of how minimal it looks. It's a simple and timeless design, which is something that I look for in my glasses. Other than that, one other thing that I do look for is the size of the frame. Personally, I'm a huge fan of larger frames just because it somewhat suits my face 
and also because I have a very large head. Hence, I do find smaller frames to look quite unproportionate for me. The entire frame is constructed with stainless steel and coming in at only 10 grams, which makes it incredibly lightweight. In fact, it's so light to a point whereby my lenses probably weighs more than the entire frame itself, which kind of makes it more front heavy. However, this is really more to do with my high prescription level. So if you guys do have a much lower prescription, then this kind of issue will be less prominent. In terms of construction wise, it is really beautifully made and their frames are actually 100% handmade. According to them, it takes up to three to four months to complete production and each frame does go through multiple quality checks to ensure that they all meet the high quality standards before being shipped out. If you are wanting to try it out, NYBK are currently offering a free at home try on service whereby you can pick up to three pairs of frames and try them out for a week before making your decision. However, do note this service is only available in the US. For the rest of us, ordering your pair is still super easy and I will take you guys through the quick process. The only thing that you will need beforehand are your prescriptions. As always, the fun part is just browsing through and picking your favorite frame. And if you're still unsure if the frame will suit your face, there is a virtual try-on that you can use to help you decide. Just be sure to be in a wallet room and a clean background for the best result. One thing I really like about this brand is just how affordable all their frames are that seems to go for a flat rate of only 95 US dollars. Once you have selected your frame, you will move on to the prescription type and just select the one that suits your needs. Moving on to the lens type, there are three different options that you can choose from which varies in terms of functionality. Classic is just the basic lens that features functionality like scratch resistance and anti-reflective lenses that blocks 100% of the UV rays. For an additional 40 US dollars, you can upgrade the lenses to have the strongest blue light filtering capabilities among the rest. This type of lens is more suited towards people who are frequently in front of a digital screen as it will help to cut off that blue light being emitted through the screens. Having this on would definitely make the viewing experience much more comfortable. However, do note that as a result, it does affect the way we perceive colors, especially when it comes to blue hues. Therefore, if you are someone who does a lot of color accuracy work, I personally would not opt for this lens type. Furthermore, if you really do want this particular feature, a lot of our gadgets these days do have the option to turn on and off blue light filtering either ways. This is a feature that I do have on quite frequently, especially when I am writing scripts. Lastly, the most expensive option here is the light responsive lenses that is able to transition from a clear lens to a darker thin one when you're outside, as well as filtering out more blue light compared to the classic lenses. This is a very great option for anyone who is constantly both indoors and outdoors frequently, as you do not need to constantly swap between your eyeglasses and your sunglasses. Up next is selecting the appropriate lens material for your prescription strength. This is highly dependable on how high your prescription is, and if it's very low, you can just get away with the 1.56 regular index lens, which doesn't require any additional charges. However, in my case, because my prescription strength is crazy high, I have no choice but to opt for the 1.67 ultra high index lens, which does cost an additional 50 US dollars. Overall, you want to ensure that your lens is always the thinnest possible so that it fits your glasses nicely without sticking out too much. The final step is to just submit a copy of your prescription or you can email it to them later. On the same page, it's also asked that you input your pupil distance or PD, which usually can be found in most prescriptions. However, in a case that it doesn't show like mine, you will need to measure it out yourself. While you can do it manually, there is an easier method using a totally free app called iMeasure. Using your phone's front camera, it can detect and tell you what your PD is. As always with any digital measuring methods, be sure to be in a valid area with a clear background. That is all it takes to order a pair of glasses from NYBK. It's super easy and probably you can get it all done within 10 minutes or less. That is all I have for today's video. It's a rather short one, but I do hope if you are on the hunt for a new pair of glasses, this video is able to help you out. This is truly a brand that I have been wearing since 2017 and I really do stand by them. Therefore, I'm still taken aback by them wanting to send me over a pair. So major shout out and a massive thank you to NYBK for believing in my work and hopefully there is more to come. If you have watched all the way to the end, thank you so incredibly much. And if you did enjoy it, please do consider to give it a thumbs up. 
once again if you guys are new to the channel or just haven't been subscribed yet please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button down below as it's these little things that really does help to push the channel out to more people please do stay safe out there and i'll catch you all in the next one peace out